Assistant uh, Secretary Connor, it's good to see you again and other colleagues. The Great Lakes contains 21% of the world's fresh water. One out of every 10 Americans rely on the Great Lakes for drinking water. From an economic standpoint, the Great Lakes support 311,000 jobs across a variety of industry, $8.8 .8 billion in wages. For years, we have worked to move the Brandon Road Interbasin Project at the Brandon Road Lock and Dam near Joliet. This project is critical to preventing an invasive species of carp from reaching the Great Lakes. For over 10 years, I've dedicated my, a large part of my public service to that damn fish. We all know the importance of keeping this fish out of the Great Lakes. They already have shifted the ecological balance of the Mississippi River significantly. I have helped secure more than $272 million for this project. But as I understand it, the funding will not become available until an agreement is reached between the Army Corps of Engineers and my state of Illinois. This is a regional issue, not just our state concerned about it. The state of Michigan has just shown a, a remarkable commitment to solving this problem with us, and I want to thank them. I commend you for the role that you played in moving toward construction. But before we can get to this step, there needs to be a project partnership agreement between the local sponsor, the state of Illinois, and the Army Corps. <clears throat> what will happen on June 30th if a project partnership agreement between the Army Corps of Engineers and the state of Illinois is not signed? Prospect for, Senator, thank you for the question. Uh, prospect for increased costs associated with the project if we don't get the PPA in place by the end of June of this year. And that's primarily because we need to coordinate some of the work that we need to do uh, on Brandon Road with the closure on the Illinois Waterway for maintenance uh, work that we do. So we get efficiencies out of that if we uh, combined uh, that construction activity. So uh, that is why we've articulated uh, the end of June is incredibly important. Uh, thank you very much for all you've done to help work through the issues. Uh, and I'm happy to elaborate more on where we are trying to get to PPA if you would like. I understand you received a letter from the governor of Illinois asking questions about the project. Have you responded to that letter? I've, I've responded by talking to the governor directly. The governor uh, requested that we sign an incremental PPA for a phase of this project. We don't think that this project can be broken down into phases that are usable increments. We need to complete the whole project. So I wanted to talk to the governor about that directly before sending him a letter. We talked through some of the state's concerns with respect to ensuring cost certainty, long-term OMR. We had a good conversation. I still need to respond to him the record. I don't believe we can sign an incremental PPA. Uh, we can work on items associated with that cost certainty and OMNR. And I also think it's important uh, that we bring Michigan into the discussions, which I know is happening at the local level. Uh, but I think that's important for us to be able to try and hit that PPA uh, June Let 30th. Let me once again thank Michigan, the governor, and both senators, my colleagues, have really gone overboard trying to help us, and I, I want to thank them for this. Do you think the ball is in the Corps' court at this point, or is Illinois waiting on a response from you? I think the governor's waiting for a response from me. We've been in contact with his team after he and I talked. I would like to get that response out to lay the foundation for the next set of steps we need to take to get to a final PPA. With June 30th deadline looming, can you give me your assurance that you will look in this, yeah. look this matter as soon as perhaps today? Uh, absolutely, sir. Thank you very much. I also want to thank the uh, Corps for their efforts on the Quincy Bay. Uh, that means a lot to me and to the people in that community. So thank you for moving forward on that. I see my time is just about up, but I want to last, ask the last question about the infamous Bubbly Creek in Chicago. Will you commit to expediting interagency discussions with the EPA to ensure there is no further delay in the restoration of this area? Yes, sir. We would like to get this project uh, uh, up and going as quickly as we can. And I know this issue, particularly as it relates to hazardous toxic radioactive waste, um, the HTRW issue is one that we've got to work through uh, with all the agencies. So we're committed to that. Thank you very much.